I'm JC at Motorcycle Superstore, and this is the LS2 FT2 FF396 Veteran Helmet. Big mouthful, but the graphics package is, is the Veteran, so obviously this helmet's available in different graphics, different colors. Now, the FF396, this FT2 model, it is essentially LS2's premier street bike helmet at the moment. So you have a full face design, and it has full features as well. We'll go into those. First off, this is a long oval head shape. So if you have a round head, you probably don't even need to watch anymore. This thing has lots of room front to back. It's going to fit that type of head shape best. Also, this is a size medium. We weighed it at 3.3 pounds. That's pretty dang lightweight, especially considering that it has all this stuff built into it. So I really like to see that. Now, the fiberglass shell is nice. Great graphics package. Uh, the shell is manufactured in different sizes for closer tolerances on your fit. Also, the venting system is all adjustable. So on the front of the chin bar, you have an adjustable vent here. That's for your anti-fogging properties. Also, on top of the head, you have your intake vents. These can be easily adjusted. And on the back, you have your exhaust vents. So it's going to pull that hot air away. Uh, that's great. Easy to use with or without gloves. You'll appreciate that. Also, something that's cool about this helmet is on the inside here. If you pull out this removable chin curtain, you'll see the Airgo system. This is an air fit pump system. You simply pump up this large button. There are bladders inside the cheek pads themselves, which will swell up and create a tighter fit on your face. So that's going to help you dial in that fit. Also, there's a bleeder valve, so you can actually let that air out. Much easier to pull the helmet on and off when that's deflated. Since we're here, take a look at the chin strap. This is a ratcheting design. Uh, and inside that, you have a removable liner system as well, which can be washed at any time you need to. So, on back to the outside. The shield system's nice and easy to use in terms of everyday riding. Tab here on the left side, up and down. It can be locked into place using this mechanism. Click that into place, and now it's nice and secure. Also, removing the shield is possible with these mechanisms on the side. Now, you need to have the shield in the upward position, and this can be locked as well. So, you can see, if I press this red tab to the back, it's locked. Once we unlock it, we can turn these forwards and they will pop right off. Now, one note about this because it confused the heck out of me for a while. When you put this back on, these have to go on which side they came off of. Whatever side your right ear is on, you'll see a small R on this piece. Left ear has, a, has an L. Also, there's two tabs on the back side of these. You can only put them in one way. They'll fit one direction. You flip it 180 degrees, they won't fit. So, a little bit hard to change the shield, but once you figure it out, you'll have it down, it's no problem. So that's nice to see. Okay, here's the last big feature we need to talk about. It is the drop down sun shield. So this is called their full eclipse drop down shield. Very easy to activate on the left chin bar here, a small, uh, small button. You can see it with red to open, black to close. And this thing comes down pretty far. I like that it goes down below the nose guard. Should keep that out of your line of sight when you're riding down the road. Also, it eliminates the need to carry sunglasses, which is fantastic. But LS2 wants to make sure that you can still wear sunglasses if you like, or your regular glasses for better vision. The cheek pads have actually been designed to allow that by having very thin profiles up here. So the ear pieces will come in and out very, very easily. So this is the veteran. Take a look at all the different graphic packages, all the different sizes. Those are available at MotorcycleSuperstore.com. Get some close-up photography. Also see current pricing for this helmet as well. Pretty affordable, but uh, it's still a helmet that is going to feature tons of different things that might make it worth a little bit more to you. So really take that into consideration. Value-packed helmet. You can find more information online. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, subscribe to us on YouTube for more product videos.